go. I suppose today's show is all about procrastination because although we're not dogs, you know, we do live in a world now that values work and values rationality, you know, and we, we disregard emotions, which I don't even need to get into, but we do have to get things done in this day and age. And I know that's um, annoying and boring, but it is necessary that we know how to get things done. We know the difference between um, working hard when we need to work hard and burning out, you know, when we've actually just gone too far and we actually need to rest and what that means. I was having a chat with a client a couple of days ago and we were talking about that specific difference. When do we know or when is the right time to stop what we're doing, to turn around because the path is a dead end or, you know, we've burnt ourselves out and we need to rest or when do we need to pick ourselves up by the bootstraps and go, okay, I'm actually not doing enough that I need to be doing right now. This got us onto a conversation about procrastination. Procrastination probably kills all of us. And it's a brilliant discussion point because I think we can tackle procrastination um, in a very simplistic way. And I want to break this down for you. So I've got some notes here. Procrastination, I believe, and I'm looking forward to your feedback on this one. The two, fundament, the two fundamental reasons why we procrastinate is A, because the schedule is too chaotic. Our to-do list is too chaotic. Okay, I've got my to-do list here and in preparation for this show, I've tried to make it very, very simple. Okay, My daily tasks for today are going to be recording this podcast, updating Trello, updating my to-do list, writing, and then watching Outlander. Very important. The weekly, <clears throat> the weekly tasks, they're very, they're, they're quite simple as well. It's just a combination of reading, doing the podcasting, sitting in silence, writing and, and working out. If I can hit about four to five of those a week, five is killer, four is totally acceptable, then I'm happy. I have procrastinated my whole life and I think that's not necessarily because I, um, you know, have been lazy. It's just because I haven't planned appropriately. I, I have tried to get all my shit done that I want to get done that's going to make me incredibly happy and a, and a success and all this sort of stuff in one day. And obviously that expectation, expectation is way too high. So I'm going to get disappointed. And then when I get disappointed, that, that makes me want positive emotions. So the little temptations here and there, you know, like sweets and watching Netflix become a hell of a lot more alluring because I just... I'm, I'm down in the dumps. You know, I didn't get the shit done that I wanted to get done that day. So my first point when it is about procrastination here is, is your to-do list too chaotic? Have you woken up with this rushed mentality thinking that you're going to get 7,000 things done today and then, and then you're absolutely going to get that done and then you're only going to be happy after you've done that or you're only allowed to be happy after you've done that? You know, these are, these are crazy expectations that we put on ourselves. And I think a lot of it comes down to how we compare ourselves to other people. That's so hard not to do in this day and age because, uh, you know, we're just bombarded by other people's lives. You know, I'm being hypocritical right now by saying that because you're listening to this show and you're, you know, and I'm very humbled by that, but you're allowing me to, you know, take some time out of your day, hopefully so you can learn, but, uh, you know, there is that kind of, all right, this is Tom's life. How does that compare with my life? And we do that so much in this day and age. And unfortunately, we just need to be more responsible and we need to tell ourselves when enough is enough. And all right, I've, I've probably scrolled too much today. I need to get back to what I'm doing. So there are so many reasons why we procrastinate. And so much of it is basically down to the fact that the 21st century is just information overload. But if we want to reclaim our own sense of self and our own authenticity, we need to get back to the roots of what we're doing. You know, what are our goals? Who do we want to be in six months time? What does our potential look like? Uh, do we want to be you know, married? Do we want to have kids? Do we want to be single and party? You know, what do we want to do? What kind of job do we want to have? How do we want to look? These are so important, these kind of framework ideas. 